So today we're gonna to learn how to create an end screen for your YouTube videos. End screens are a great way to help you get more views and more watch time for your channel. So someone watched one of your videos in entirety, gets to the end, and you don't want them to leave without watching more of your content. So when someone gets to the very end, the last five to 20 seconds essentially, you wanna make a recommendation of what to watch next. So you don't actually have to do any graphic design or animation or anything crazy to have an end screen. You can just add the elements on the screen. So I could be ending this video like, hey, thanks for watching, here's a playlist, here's a video, bye bye. So that's something super easy to do. Obviously it gets more complicated if you were way zoomed in on my face or you know, if it was an interview, if there was one person here and one person here, because then you're gonna be putting videos or subscribe buttons right over their faces as, as the video's ending. But you know, that's, as a starting point, a great thing to do is just have them on your videos, hope someone clicks on it. But what we wanna do now is go through a couple of options that require a little bit of design work, but I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it, so don't worry. So the first option is something like this. You kind of end the video like you normally would. Hey, thanks for watching, uh, see you in the next one. So this is probably the easiest option. So in this free tool Canva, I'm gonna show you how you can create this in probably a minute. It's really, really easy. But the one downside to creating an end screen like this is you're not actually verbally telling them, hey, watch this. So that's what we're gonna show you in option number two. So option number two looks something like this. So you can see me, I'm on a smaller screen now, and I want you to watch this playlist. So this is something you could record along with your video and think about beforehand, hey, someone watching this video, what is the recommendation that I wanna make? What is the thing that they're most likely to wanna click on? And so you're gonna record a couple seconds making that recommendation and you know, add your end screen, add the small video over top of it, and you're good to go. That moves me on to option number three, which is what we're currently using. So, hey, if you're watching this video, you should check out this playlist right here. So you can see this is a little bit better than the last option in my opinion because someone's not kind of searching for you on screen. So on a, to, to find you on a small screen might be a little bit more complicated versus, you know, I'm still the same height, taking up the same space. I just shifted over, you know, one way or the other. And so that's what our end screen currently looks like. And so what I wanna do now is hop on the computer and walk you through how to actually get all this set up for each one of the three options that we just went through. Okay, so here we are at canva.com. Everything we're gonna do today, you can do with the free version of Canva. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description where you can sign up for your free account. If you do decide to upgrade to Canva Pro, we may earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Also, if this is your first time using Canva, we have a Canva tutorial for beginners video. I'll link to that video up above right here. Okay, so once you're at, so at Canva, what I want you to do is search for a YouTube outro and then click on the suggested. So these are all gonna be animated videos that come up for the most part. Um, what I'm gonna show you here, let's just choose one and I'll show you how to customize it. And so just click on this option. One of the first things is to actually give it a name. So if we say, so the Figco end screen option one. Um, one of the other things is you can choose how long you want the animation to be. So let's say uh, seven seconds, done. And then here you can basically go in and customize everything. So let's start out with the simplest thing of the background. So you can click on the color up here and let's change it to our blue. This is probably the name of the channel. So we put the Figco. Um, we let put the at sign in case someone wants to follow us on Instagram. Let's change this to white. This maybe we make our green color. The black doesn't look great here. Let's make that gray. And then maybe this would be our YouTube playlist. And then the one below is like a recommendation video. And then that's really all we need to do. If you wanna see what the, the animation, the video looks like, you can click play right here. Love the music. If that works for you, the next step is just to download the video. All right, so now let's go to iMovie. So let's say this was the main content and then you know, you'd know you have a couple seconds at the end where you would essentially be wrapping up the video. And so we'll put that right here. And then you have your end screen. So it'd be something like, here's the end of the content. Set you up for growth in 2021. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. So if you didn't want the music that came with Canva, you could just right click on this 
and then go to detach audio and then you could remove that and add your own music if you chose. But basically this is what's gonna show up at the end of your video. So you can see from the first option, super easy to set up in Canva. Just search for a YouTube outro, you know, change the image, the colors, the text, whatever you wanna change in it. Decide how long you want the video to be, export it, edit your videos, good to go. So now let's take a look at option number two. Okay, so for the second design, we're not gonna create one of the YouTube outros, which is an animated video. We're just gonna use an image. So to do that, I don't know if there's a, a specific design that's the right dimensions, but it should basically be 1920 by 1080. And then click on create new design. Hey, I'm not a graphic designer here. Um, I just wanna show you the basics, so don't make fun of me um, for my poor design skills. But, but basically let's have a blue background and then if you hit T for text, we could say Figco and put that, make that bold. So this is gonna be really, really simple, but you'll see how this is gonna work in just a second. So we have something like this, just an image the size of what your videos are, and then give it a name, so Figco end screen, and then download it. Okay, and then let's go back into iMovie. All right, let's go delete what we had before. Then what we need here is two things. One, we need just the image, and then we need what we're actually gonna be saying while the image is on screen. And so here, this would just be One. like this there separately and then the video plays, that's not what we want. And then what we'll do is this image, we adjust the crop to fit, and then put this over top of the image, and then we wanna make the image and the video the same length. And then what we'll do here, so we want to go to image and instead of cut away and show this inside the image we want to do picture in a picture and so what we would do here is something like that and then here's what we'll check out the youtube playlist along the side right here hope to see you in the next video and then here it's it's fading in and out the video but if i just wanted the video to play with the image the playlist along the side right here hope to see you in the next video can you see the difference here? So this is a much better option because I'm actually saying go do this as opposed to me saying bye, people leaving, and then there being options of something to click on. So you can see option two was equally as easy. You just needed to create one image that had whatever elements you want on it, and then as kind of picture in picture, add the video over top of it that's making a recommendation. So now I wanna show you option number three, which is what we're currently using for our end screens. Okay, so this third option is gonna be an image like the last one. There's a few steps that might be a little bit confusing, at least right now, but it'll all make sense as we put it all together in iMovie. And, and so the thing is with the last one, the video was on top of the background, and then this one is gonna be the opposite of this, where the video is behind the actual the image that we're gonna use this time. You could do this two different ways. You could have a PNG file that has a transparent part of it that you could see through and watch the video, or what we're gonna do in this one is actually use a green screen feature that's available in iMovie and other video editing softwares. And so if we go to create design again, custom dimensions, the same dimensions. We're not gonna worry too much about the design of this, so just bear with me. You can obviously make it as pretty as you want, but basically what you need here is, here's the color background, the Figco again, and then I'll just probably put this down in the corner. And then what we basically need is the cutout piece of that we basically wanna be able to see through and watch the, the video of me talking. And so to do that, we need an element and a rectangle. So luckily one of our colors is green, so we don't need to change the color or anything. And then it basically needs to be as big as whatever piece we want to be cut out. Okay. So this is all we need to do right now. So if we give this a name, okay, and let's download this one. 
Okay, now let's go back to iMovie. And then here, so obviously we don't need these ones anymore. And so we're gonna have, we have a different video clip and we have a different end screen. So this is a little bit confusing potentially. So we can trim this down a little bit if we wanted. And then, so essentially this needs to now go on top of the video. Um, but the one thing that you'll notice if we do it this way is, so now we wanna change the crop to fit. And then this we go to green blue screen. But what you're gonna see here is you can see through this now, but I need to basically be over here instead of in the middle. And iMovie isn't the best for doing this, but I did figure out a hack of how you could actually do it. Okay, so here if we go back to this video clip, and then what we wanna do is select that same, that orange section that we have down below. And then what we wanna do to this clip though is crop it. So we don't want the full width anymore. We want to make it narrower. So something like that, and then hit accept. Okay, so now we have this. And okay, so that's cropped and everything is accepted. Now we want to drag this down on the timeline. And then obviously if we just do what we did before, it's a little bit better, but not quite. So I found a little hack to get this to work. I imagine some other video editing softwares, it probably works better than what we're doing here. So it's on fit. And then if you set this to picture in a picture, it allows you to essentially move it around. And so you can do that basically like this. Now if I, now if we basically switch the order of these to so move this here, move this now on top, and then move this back to being a green screen, but not picture in a picture green screen there and then if we this we don't need anymore and so now if we let this play features to set you up for growth in 2021 all right so if you want help adding the end screen elements to your youtube videos check out this video up above right here hopefully you're able to choose the style for your end screens and follow along and create one of the end screens like we did in this tutorial okay so if you want help actually adding the end screen elements to your youtube videos check out this video up above right here if you want to watch the dozens of videos we have to help you grow on youtube in 2021 check out the playlist down below hope to see you in the next video bye, -bye.